Welcome to World of Monsters, all the depictions of Friday the 13th's Jason. Now do keep in mind there aren't that many variations of Jason, but if you haven't seen any of the movies there may be some critical spoilers here for you. So that said, I hope you enjoy the list. In this episode we will be exploring the different looks of Jason Voorhees from the different Friday the 13th movies. We'll be focusing on the different looks of the mask, Jason's face and head, as well as his overall body, clothing, and the overall concept. And as mentioned earlier, I'll be solely focusing on Jason and won't be giving away any movie plot points. I won't be discussing the movies at all. No serious action scenes will be revealed and especially no violent scenes. You hear me, YouTube? Yeah, I know you're watching this. You hear me? I know you're out there. Let me make your review of this video simple. There will be no violence in this video. No bad words, no nudity, just maybe a scary face here and there. So take it easy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the show and thanks for watching. Friday the 13th, 1980. If you haven't seen the first Friday the 13th, the first two movies presented may reveal some important spoilers. The rest should be pretty much as expected. Here we see Jason's mother. She's reminiscing of Jason, the young Jason Voorhees. Now Jason wasn't a normal child. He was a little different and he was picked on by the other children. See YouTube, not so bad. And the mother does get aggressive in this movie. Okay, very aggressive. Look at Jason. Here we see Jason jumping out of the water. He has a love-hate relationship with the water. And in that scene, we can see that he's been submerged for a long time. There's some dirtying, darkened effects. The enlarged head shows that he is quite different to a regular child. Friday the 13th, Part 2, 1981. Here we see some glimpses from the previous movie with the mother and Jason in the water, as well as the so far best shot we get of childhood Jason Voorhees. Now here's the first glimpse we get of Jason, full grown Jason, wearing the plaid or flannel shirt. And here we have the first sort of view of him in adult form, but it's only a shadow view. We can see he's a robust fellow. Another view of his hand and a little here of his pants. This is the first sighting we get of his shoes and more of his form as he walks up the stairs. This is the first full sighting we get of him and it's that burlap bag covered head. Were you expecting that? Well, if you were, we know that you're a true Jason Voorhees fan. And I like that concept. I like the concept of the whole burlap bag over the head with only two eye holes. Now, what does he look like under? Our excited Jason looks as you'd expect him to, considering seeing him as a child. His face is slightly deformed, but he still has a rather human skin tone, long hair, and a large area on his head where there's no hair. Friday the 13th, Part 3, 1982. So here we have a little bit of a flashback from the previous movie. This is the first glimpse in this movie that we get of him. And there's the first sighting of the mask. Is it Jason? No, it's not Jason. Surprise. But now it is Jason and doesn't he look good with that mask. So good that we're gonna see him with that type of mask much more. We get a nice back view of the head which has no hair and it's still got that pinkish skin tone to it. We can tell that there's some deformations in the skin at the neck area. I do like in this version how the head has no hair covering it. It starts to hint at Jason being something, something different. And here's Jason's face revealed in this movie. It's just a mask, don't worry. But anyhow, I do like the head design and face structure in this one over the previous movie. It's not quite as large and it doesn't look as silly, although his expression might be a little so. Friday the 13th, the final chapter, 1984. Alrighty, so here we start with some glimpses from the previous movie. Now here is a glimpse at the new mask. Much of the striking design on it is faded. Our first glimpse of Jason is, as often, his hand. We also already get a glimpse of his mask and the back of his head. And here's the first full reveal. Nah, I'm just kidding. See, told you. None of this is real. Hairless as well, and again, really starting to lose that touch of humanity. As you're watching this, be sure to let me know in the comments below which version of the mask, well, those don't change too much, but which version of Jason's face you liked the most. Friday the 13th, a new beginning, 1985. And here as the first appearance, we have his go figure hand again, but we also quickly see Jason following that. And he's looking good. He's wet, he's really dirty, 
If when we see the mask now with the title shot, it has blue designs and it's completely lacking the red brow line design. We can see that he has hair on his arms and that he has a pretty normal skin tone. Here's a nice glimpse of the new mask and the back of his head. Not too deformed, even the ears seem somewhat fully formed and of course the head lacking of any hair. Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives, 1986. And here we quickly see a glimpse of the mask. Here we see the corpse of Jason. We very quickly see his features without the mask, which are quite different to the previous movies, looking much more undead and deformed. His full design looks great here. He's got a nice shirt on with chest pockets on it, and it's dark and dreary and dirty and we can't even see the color again. The mask seems a little bit flattened at the edges. So in this one he has sort of a pruned look, but he's starting to get grayed out and more undead looking. And that's the Jason I like, personally. Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, 1988. Here's some reminiscent shots of Jason from the previous movies and a quick look at his new corpse and mask. It's good to see that they've continued with this more monstrous looking concept. And in our first sighting is excellent. It's full body and Jason simply looks great. His clothing is torn up. Are those bones sticking out? We're not even sure. Getting glimpses of the back, we do indeed see a lot of bones exposed. Seeing the front of the face, it's a bit more striking than maybe it would have been expected to be. Don't freak out. It's not real. I do enjoy the concept of this face. The strong characteristic on it make it look a little bit funny or silly. It still looks, of course, scary and in real life it would be heart attack scary. But in this case, and the creature that Jason is, and as silent as he is, I would like to see something a little bit more calm and creepy rather than just right out scary. Friday the 13th. Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, 1989. And here the first glimpse is a, well you've guessed it, it's of a hand, it's of two hands. The first glimpse of the mask we see is, it's not Jason, it's the mask, but it's not Jason. What a jerk. It's got the red designs to it, although they have been shrunken down a bit, and the tint of the mask is a bit more yellow. In this film we get a great first shot of Jason. No bones extruding, but the clothes are torn up, underwater plants all over them. Jason still looks nice and beefy. Here's a nice city look of Jason. This is a great shot showing the back of Jason, showing that gray skin. Nothing too crazy and deformed, but we do see no hair even on the arms. Again, one of the Jason concepts that I enjoy. We also get a glimpse of young Jason. Instead of moving in the direction I was talking about, they moved it into the goofier, sillier direction. He looks crazy and somewhat scary, but not intimidating and hulkingly strong as he actually is. Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. 1993. What a great first appearance, and already what a cool concept design to his whole head, having those bulges coming out from the sides of the mask. Here the mask is very damaged and sort of really pressed onto the face. Now this Jason soon leaves us, and then we have this character, which is sort of a temporary Jason here. Without giving any plot points away, it's a nastier, more in-depth, little, exaggerated version of, well, I guess we could say Jason. Nonetheless, cool, monstrous little creature. And here we have the return of Jason. Oh, look at the top of that head. It looks so good. It's so bulging. Maybe a little too much for my taste, but not too bad. We can see that he's big, beefy. The mask is a little leaner here, and he has hair. Not too many, but they are long. So we're going back to sort of the look of a mix of the older Jason with more deformation and quality and practical effects. Some monster hands. Jason X, 2001. We have an early show of Jason. He's got a lot of hair. He's got some cool kind of clothing. He's immobilized. He's beefy looking. Now we see the mask having not just different designs on it, but a different structure design to it. It's not just simple and round, but the brow area pops out a bit. The shaping around the nose to the mouth is a bit different. I believe the holes are a little larger. And of course it looks nice and old and dirty and worn. Though Jason himself, looking at the ears, the bits of flesh above his head looks more human in color, with of course reference to his deformities. The eye regions look more, well, alive rather than undead. And if you ever wondered what Jason's eyeball looks like, well, here's an eyeball. In a non-violent, dissection-performing atmosphere. 
Here's Jason quickly getting up, as he often does. Here's a glimpse of the back of his head. He's got a scar, some hairs, the skin tone, and obviously the smaller mass compared to the size of the head, especially looking at the back of the head size. And here's our first Shredder Jason, or I mean the upgraded future Jason, all armored up with flesh, fused with armor. The mask has a totally different look, suddenly it became metallic. His flesh is still skin-toned, pinkish, with red crazy eyes. Cool overall concept, though not sure if for these types of movies and for this character. Freddy vs. Jason, 2003. And here the first glimpse is of Jason's mask, and we see that traditional classic sort of look we've gotten used to. He seems to be dressed a little bit warmer. We get a nice glimpse of his mother. We always have to show Jason's mother, as she's so influential and simply an important part of Jason's life and reality. All practical effects. And here we can see Jason taking a long break, and Jason taking a stroll, wearing nice clothing that just droops down all over the place, like having that sort of swampy feel to it. We can see that Jason's mostly bald, but he has some hair and they're long hair. We start to get the idea that the skin tone has that dark grayish look to it. Here's Jason hanging out with his friends. More clear view of the mask. We see it has those yellowish tones to it. We also get some glimpses of a young Jason. Poor, poor little Jason. Can't you just feel for him? Man, kids can be nasty. But he grew up strong, healthy, extremely healthy, and at least quiet in nature. I do like this overall form, and that hint of grayish undead skin. Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, 2008. This is a fan-made film, and Jason does not appear bad at all here. He's bulky, he's quick when he needs to be, he's not messing around, his clothing is nicely torn up, he's sporting a cool chain. He actually even looks sort of military-ish. The mask doesn't look bad, and we get glimpses of his back and head, which is very dark and there's some rips. We don't know if those are bones or flesh or just part of the clothing. There's a little bit of pinkish skin tone showing on his neck, which could be revealing some undamaged flesh, or just an effects mistake. End of it, so I'm not proud of revealing that in this video. Friday the 13th, 2009. Here we have the first view of Jason, and guess what? Oh yeah, we got that old burlap bag on. We see a silhouette, which is always a great start. And then we soon see the reveal of Jason's face. And it's not what we've been seeing. It's more in relation to the original movies. A largely deformed head with hair and the pale, very humanoid toned skin. The mask looks very reminiscent of the original or older ones. It's got the usual red markings. So glorious under the moonlight. Great shot of the mask here, showing just how worn it is and dirty and used up and a final glimpse at Jason as he goes out for a bath. Again, I apologize if I ruined the video with the slight, somewhat comedic, sarcastic undertones. I didn't mean for it to spoil the mood, but this is sort of a open-minded look at the practical effects and the design of Jason Voorhees of Friday the 13th. If you're in the know of YouTube's kind of recent changes, then you may better understand the sort of nature of this narrative. Thank you for watching this list of Friday the 13th's depictions of Jason. Let me know which one you like the most, and do let me know also which movie you like the most and which one's the worst. So, share in the comments below, check us out on Instagram, I'm there and I'm sometimes even live over there, not undead, and also on Facebook. And if you do appreciate the efforts, please leave a like down below and comment. YouTube isn't as easy as it used to be. And until next time, remember, you've been watching all the depictions of Jason out there here only at World of Monsters.